Welcome back to Prison Architect. I am your host, long-time listener. Be sure to drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and comment below. Um, let's see, where did we leave off? I feel like we're still just kind of stuck trying to monitor the situation. It says too many prisoners are being held in holding cells, and there are literally zero prisoners being held in holding cells. Now, we've got capacity for 60... We have capacity for... 82 <clears throat> shared, uh, or, or um, wait a second, 82 shared capacity, which, like, that's for my minimum security, and then we've got room for 23 criminally insane, and we're at 21 there, so we need to really be watching um, our intake, because we're, we're creeping up on where that's going to become an issue again. Uh, so we'll see how, in the long run, maybe that affects our profitability. But we, you know, what's really going to stink is that I'm going to probably have to bring on more orderlies. You know, because I've got to like, if I have to break this down and make it all padded for criminally insane, I've got to add at least one more orderly. Like right now, we've got five. I would probably add two if we have like four of them assigned. I'm not going to just have six total. We'd probably have seven. Now, one thing that we need to do is keep an eye on... Well, first of all, um, when this visitation thing is finished, we need to crank that back up right away because there are 70 families waiting to visit. Now... We need to do probably a shakedown, and the reason is, like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Here's what I need to do. Like, we're going to recruit this guy. Where is character? Boom. We got us an, an informant. <clears throat> now, I'm still not exactly sure how informants work. This guy could be a serious problem. He's deadly... He's insane, he's crazy strong, he's depressed, he's an addict. <sighs> I don't need that. But anyway, I'm hoping that maybe I can use this guy to give me some info on potential escape attempts, perhaps. See, like, he's going back to his cell. <clears throat> now, it looks like maybe he's going to be... In, no, he's not in lockdown. But, like, there's... Where is, if I go to intelligence and I go to informants, like, he's got 12% coverage. That's nothing. And he's idle right now. So I could click on this and it would activate him. And what it'll do is work his way to the security room and tell me what he knows. Now, I don't know... I never got deep enough into a playthrough to where, like, a guy came and gave me info... That, like, was actionable. And what I mean by that is, like, is he going to come and say, like, hey, there's a tunnel in the dorm across from me or whatever. And, like, maybe it just shows you that tunnel. I'm not exactly sure how it works. But we'll just have to kind of keep an eye on it. So, um, I think everything else is kind of running smoothly here. Let's go ahead and do a tunnel search while everybody is asleep. And we don't have anything else to do. And then maybe we do a shakedown in the morning. Like, we're going to keep, you know, making life miserable for these guys. As far as trying to discover tunnels, contraband, etc. I figure the shakedowns might help me uncover a few more CIs. And continue to maybe take advantage of that. Because if I can get some CIs to where I can see that that's helping prevent, you know, contraband or escapes or whatever, then maybe, um, uh, then maybe the prison escapes just stop happening. And I don't need to do tunnel searches that much. I don't need to do as many shakedowns, etc. We'll see. We're doing good for money. I really, really, though, want to start the process of expanding, but we're, I just don't think we're there yet. 
like remember we started with 500 grand and we had to really kind of nitpick what to put in and what not to put in and we were getting some grants along the way so for me to like reproduce all of this i'll bet you i need to have at least five or six hundred grand in the bank to start the process and we'll make some money during the build out um phase but i think we got to have about 500 grand and we're not getting you know, we're not eating into that number as fast as I would have hoped. Because, you know, we make a bunch of money and then we have to spend some on a security camera or whatever. But I think we're mostly kind of maxed out for what we need on this side of the facility. The one thing that may help is that at some point we'll probably... Um, I forgot to do the shakedown. So... Well, let's wait until after they get the new prisoners checked in. It's only a couple of them, so that shouldn't take long. Oh, dude had pills. He had some booze or medicine or whatever. Come on, guys. All right, let's do a shakedown maybe in the middle of their free time. Actually, you know what? Let's not do a shakedown today because... They're probably already on edge because of the fact that we haven't had visitation for a while. Let's do it tomorrow morning or like in the middle of the night. How about that? Like right, maybe when they go to lock up tonight. They're not going to be doing anything anyway, so, and then they can just sleep off their frustration. Ooh, busted, had a rope. So like this money situation is looking strong. In two hours, we'll get a phone call from the CEO, and we can turn the visitation back on, which is awesome. Nothing else really going on, and I don't know if I've any got if I've if I've got any good stories to tell. I did a uh, I just recorded the workshop tutorial, and in reality, there are a couple of things maybe that I could do to tweak this, but I kind of think that that's actually not that bad of a setup, so. We kind of got lucky in that it is kind of efficient the way it's designed right now. All right, here comes the CEO. Boom. We completed it. We can reestablish visitation. Boom. Speed it back up. Now, there's going to start being a lot of visitation here. Like, here come peeps wanting to get in. So that's huge. It's going to take a while to sift through all of those families that are still waiting to visit. But that's good. That's going to help the overall you know, satisfaction level on the grounds. Staff is doing good. Um, morale is still super high there. We now have 22 criminally insane out of 23 that we have capacity for. That's no bueno, guys. We are not doing well keeping people from going insane. And I think some of it is because of the events. If I could turn off, like, if I could pick ones to turn off would be awesome now what oh the wall just broke down so let's pause that's perimeter wall all i need to do is just go boom boom i don't even think i need to prioritize it but we'll do it just in case not a big issue because they aren't going to be getting out there they don't really have access to that area like they'd have to go through here through a staff door and that just ain't happening so our workers will fix that problem lickety split now um let's be sure to remember to do a shakedown at lockup we've already cut into this pretty good we're about a quarter of the way through it 
and we've got a bunch on site already. So I'm hoping that maybe more show up once these leave. I don't know exactly how that works. I think they have to have some free time to be able to go do visitation. But we're eating into that number pretty quickly. Let's check and see what's going on with our uh, informant. Where'd he go? I guess maybe he got released. So let's recruit this guy. He must have gotten released. So that didn't last very long. Never even got. Now he's at 34%. Whenever he gets at, out, I'm going to just activate him and see what happens. So he's out now. And apparently nobody is working the door here. Now. So he's going back to his room. Which is cool. Because nobody's around to see what's up. I'm going to activate him. Now, see, he's going to come down here. Why does he have to cut through there? Seriously. I'm trying to open the door. There we go. What's going on with our doors here, guys? Nobody's working this station, and it's a problem. Wait, where's my, uh, where's my CI again? Okay, so he's here, and he is reporting what he knows. Okay, now, I don't know, like, what does that mean here? Now, he left, didn't he? What? Seriously? What is with all the congestion around the prison? Are they trying to break out because the wall was busted? <clears throat> Okay, where'd our CI go? Oh, he's still in there. So, like, Tom is sitting on the phone tap machine. But what is he actually doing? Do I need the chief to come talk to him? Because it doesn't look like he's doing anything. Like, what do I... This is crazy. Nobody was able to get in there to man the remote doors. But they could have just gone over there. Like, come on, guys. I don't really know what's going on here, though. <clears throat> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so here. <clears throat> he is giving me intel saying that this guy arranged to get a needle. I don't know what's going on here, but we're going to search this cell. So Smith is up to something. Search prisoner, search cell. There's that. This guy, search prisoner, search cell. This guy... Search them, too. And here. So, good job, dude. I think, like, maybe even... See, like, here, this is outside of the cell block. I don't think that really helps me. But he's given me some decent intel. Oh, see, like, he's got a pickaxe. Boom. Boom. There we go. We're going to search this guy, too. And now, deactivate him. Now, his suspicion level is super high. So, look at that. We found a tunnel. Um, so, we need to fix that. See? Found a rope on him. So, that's the value of the CI. Right there. So, we want to make sure that if we can get more of those guys, like here, boom, we're going to recruit you, my man. Now, uh, if I go back to intelligence here, informants, 
So he's got a lot of suspicion. We got to leave him alone for a while. But this guy, whenever he gets out, maybe we bring him in and see if he's got any good intel for us. You know? We'll see how it goes. But right now, I think things are going pretty well. We need to continue to keep an eye on this. In fact, we're at max capacity for the insane. So it is time already. Jeez Louise, we got to go rooms, padded cells. We're going to just go for it. We're going to be over capacity on dorms or uh, on minimum security. So bunk bed. They all need dismantled. I'm going to have a bunch of bunk beds available whenever we uh, decide to expand to the other side. Did I already get this one? I don't know. So let's start that process. Now they're going to go to the holding cells. Uh, let's make this padded solitary and now I need objects comfy bed let's go ahead and install those and we will now have okay so now I need to check on our situation here so stop we have capacity for 64 um, minimum security. We're going to have capacity for 32 criminally insane, and we're not there yet. So 64, I need to go to intake. We've got room for how many total? 87, and 32 of those are... Um, criminally insane. So let's go like 80 for now. Because we need to start reducing that number a little bit. Because I don't have room to be bringing in more minimum security at the moment. It's okay though. We only have one guy that has to stay in the holding cell and he's got a comfy bed, a radio, two toilets, two showers... He's doing okay, and he'll be in a room soon because we'll have somebody get out on parole or early release or whatever. See, we lost a lot of money that day. It's probably because we bought a bunch of beds or whatever. So actually, wait, 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 wait. So I have 64 shared capacity. Yeah, we'll, we'll just leave it for right now. I always struggle to figure out what to do with that number when I've got a mixture of the different kinds it's kind of, i wish you could micromanage how many of which kind of inmate you wanted to have on the intake like if i go here and i say total prisoners i can sort of do it but it's a little bit confusing anyway not a big deal oh we need to do a shakedown um now this could be a bad idea because we still have a bunch of people on edge because they're waiting for visitors but we're trying to sniff out some contraband here, and that's actually not that bad so far. A club or two, some drugs, rope, booze, like this. Wooden pickaxe. So the wooden pickaxe can be brought from the workshop, and it can't be detected by a metal detector. So that's how a lot of tunnels begin. We don't want that. And now, after we complete this... Some people are going to be going to solitary, and I can go back here. I've already got some CIs. I don't have any more potential CIs. But, like, I could bring in Ian here. We'll do that a little bit later, though. Okay. So now that we have some more guys in solitary, look, just in case. You like this dude? He's bad news. Glad we caught him doing whatever he was doing. All right, so somebody got released. We have room now for one minimum security. So we are going to go ahead and increase intake.
There. Increase it until it brings in one minimum security. That's the plan. <clears throat> All righty. Now what? Oh, I forgot to set a timer. Let's go... Hang on. We're going to go for like another 20 minutes or so. Sounds good. So this visitor number keeps ticking down. We've got a bunch of prisoners up for release and parole. That's good. So we'll need to just watch that intake situation and keep trying to bring it back up to where minimum security goes to its full capacity. I don't need to worry about being too close to it yet. In fact, we actually lost a criminally insane due to release. So that's cool. We haven't had any escapes lately, have we? Or deaths. That's good. We're making decent money. Can't do anything with grants yet. I don't need to do anything there. How are we doing needs-wise? Everything's pretty good there. Staff, we have some issues, but... Like, all in all, they still say that the morale is super high, and that's good. And the danger level is low, and that's good. So you keep those numbers in line. Escapes will happen. Deaths will happen. As long as it's not like they're rampant, you're probably going to be okay. <clears throat> All right, we're down now to 39 families waiting to visit. We were above 80 a day or so ago. So good job, team. Uh, let's keep looking at the intelligence tab, looking for potential CIs. What is this? What is this? See, those happened outside of cell blocks, so I don't need to do anything with those yet. Okay. What about... Hmm. Let's check, actually, deployment and make sure nothing is... Like, see here, this is now not marked as staff only because that wall broke down, so we fixed that. I don't think I need anything else to be staff only. Do I? I could make the cleaning cupboard staff only, but that's pointless because janitors don't actually need it. Uh, armory staff only. Security. I guess I make it access only. No one's going in there anyway unless I tell them to. And I think we're good on the rest of this stuff. Yeah. All right. Speed it back up. Levels of contraband are out of control. Like, what is up with that? We've got dogs here to sniff that stuff. Wait, where's my patrol? Where's my canine patrol that's supposed to... There it is. He was just switching duty. Changing of the guard. <clears throat> So, other than the issue with the door control earlier, where they just weren't manning the station, we were doing, we've been doing pretty well in this episode. I feel like not a lot of chaos. We've actually made some progress. No escapes. We caught a tunnel escape attempt. Like, that's what I'm talking about. We're going to do another tunnel search tonight, I guess. Given that this number is kind of coming down into check, we might go ahead and also do a... Wait, wait, wait. How are we doing here? Okay, yeah. Two minimum security. So we're going up to capacity on minimum security where that number is right now. So I don't think I need to mess with that. That's cool. 20 families waiting to visit. When they go to lockup, we're going to do a tunnel search. Actually, let's do a shakedown. And then we'll do a tunnel search, like, in the middle of the night. Or actually, in the morning. How about that? So when they go to the yard, we'll do a tunnel, tunnel search. So right now, start to shake down. Get most of it done before everybody goes to sleep. They sleep off their anger. Everybody's happy. <clears throat> I wonder how much money you actually make if you take the one where you get money from contraband... 
like the downside to that one is like if you're making money because there's a lot of contraband you have an issue because there's a lot of contraband if you're doing a good job eliminating contraband that helps but then you're not making money off of that process you know what i mean like your perk is negated at that point so it's just kind of an interesting dynamic there i know some people choose that one but the way i look at it is if i'm making a bunch of money because there's tons of contraband in the facility we have a we've got a problem not you know it's not a benefit at that point that's a risk <clears throat> so all right 20 prisoners up for parole that's good 24 families waiting to visit we may get those knocked out today for the most part like there's usually always a few but it'll be nice to finally get that down kind of in check i'm surprised that nobody has passed this ged course yet like that's is nobody taking it like what's going on there <clears throat> where are you at programs two finished zero passed like we're struggling in the number that passed and i think it's because i had guards there before but as new inmates come in if they're interested they'll take the foundation program if they pass there's a chance they'll take the ge qualification as well and that's where hopefully we knock that one out because once they fail they're not as likely to retake the exam or not very likely from what i gather so <clears throat> all right prisoners are hungry we got a bunch of meals getting cranked out getting ready for breakfast look at our chefs go love it i love that our kitchen is now much more efficient than it used to be i love that our canteens are now um you know well established and i know that i don't need an extra kitchen for them like that's there's so many things that I've learned from doing research for the tutorials that I've been doing that, if anything, it's helping me more than the people that may have been watching them so far. Um, you know, it takes a while for a lot of videos like that to get many views. <clears throat> it's funny, like in my Stardew uh, history, you know, I've posted a ton of playthrough content and those are kind of like hit and miss sometimes as far as interest level got some some interest uh with 1.5 when it launched but at the time that that happened i had like 100 viewers or 100 subscribers because i had just kind of started doing this stuff the video that has had the most views by far is the tutorial that i did for stardew valley about animals so like i don't know why that is i guess just a lot of people don't really know exactly how they work or how to feed them or whatever and it's got thousands more views than like any other video on my channel for the most part it's crazy <laughs> but i feel like those short video tutorial type things or you know just videos kind of ranting about whatever they tend to get a fair amount of views playthroughs you know you you tend to get like a decent crowd early on in a playthrough and then it starts to thin out as time goes along which whatever i'm not doing it necessarily for the viewership i'm kind of just doing it because i like playing the game and i figure while i'm at it might as well uh just record it so 19 prisoners up for parole now seven families waiting to visit i forgot to do a tunnel search let's just go ahead and do it now see if we find anything and while we're at it let's check out informants see now there's no suspicion on this guy and he's got 38 percent coverage i'm gonna bring him back in let's see if he can get me some info that helps here all right yeah so he's telling me look at this guy search him look at this guy search him 
Uh, not really sure about that. Maybe this guy we search. Uh, and maybe this guy we also search. This guy definitely search. And search his cell. There's some contraband in there. Whatever. Not. There's a needle in there. Don't know how he would know that. Okay. <clears throat> I think we got them all here. So that's good. And now. Go back into the informants tab. Wait, you go away. Deactivate. Okay. See? Busted! So, good job by the informant. That guy's getting her done. He's helped me uh, squash a few schemes already. So, that's cool. All right, now what all do we need to do? We're at 334,000. That number is headed in the right direction. It's been going nothing but up this episode. We've got capacity for five minimum security, but it's saying it's only going to bring in four. Why is that? Oh, you know why? I'll bet you we have another insane. Yep, 24 now. So we can go up one more right wait it says 58 out of 64 we can bring in two more it just changed that fast boom right that'll max us out on the shared capacity and we still have room for eight more criminally insane <clears throat> so Anything else going on? I guess maybe we'll look at intelligence just in case any of those guys that we just busted are potential CIs, but that's not the case. So, how about a lot of stuff stolen from laundry and the gym? Guards are not getting the job done in those areas. A lot of stuff coming out of vis visitation. <clears throat> now, it's okay, though. Um, very little coming from out here, very little coming from the workshop, relatively. So, any dangers I need to worry about? I don't think so. Staff is still happy. Two staff have died on duty? What? That was like a while ago, though, right? That hasn't been recently, has it? <laughs> I think that those are old notes. That's probably never... I mean, maybe that will drop off at some point. But we'll just kind of have to keep an eye on it. So it's warm outside now, so that's helpful. Nobody's going to complain about being cold. We're still sitting on low danger level. I really want to get this reformative... Uh, reform through education initiative done. Like, come on, just one person passed that class, dang it. Usually doesn't take this long. We've got four. See, something is up here with this remote door. I need to see about this servo. It's connected to that one. Nobody's working it. But it's, that's the only one that it's connected to. Which is kind of frustrating. Because, like, this one is connected to this one. Why don't they just go over there and go in that door? Dang it. It's, it's annoying. No doubt. And aren't they supposed to be open during those hours? Don't I have a timer? Wait a minute. Where are my door timers? Did I not save the file? I swear I had two door timers set up. Like right here. 
Didn't I? I'm losing my mind, guys. Oh, you know what it was? No. I could have sworn I had door timers installed. Now, some, and, and then I, like, I even connected them to the door servos, but they weren't working effectively. Like, not all of them were getting connected. Um,. It, it was weird. I need to figure out more about the mechanics of it, but let's at least try to use it. Like, let's go to here and get, like, these bottom doors, okay? So it's got four connections, right? But it, see how it shows, like, two of them being inactive? I don't know why that is. Then I can go, like, here okay and now there's six connections now they look like they're all active right so if i go and click on this it says three connected servos there are six connected i don't understand but basically all i want when it's closed is just lock up and sleep everything else i want those doors opened so I need to figure out why it's only showing three connected out of the six that are actually connected. But that's what's going on there. And then what we'll do is the same thing up here. We'll connect all six of these to this one. And see if this works. Why does it say only four? One. Oh no. The board has decided to experiment. This again. I hope the autosave happened recently because this is going to drive me crazy because I can't complete this one. They don't let you do it. So let's pause and let's figure out why it's showing the servos not being connected. Like that door servo is connected. That one's connected. That one is connected to both, which it shouldn't be. So, can I just do this and clear it? Clear connections. And now, which one do I need to connect it to? I guess that one and that one. And now there. See, this one here is also connected to both. What did I do wrong here? There should be 12 total. So I got to clear. No. No. I want to go here. Clear connections. And now connect there there oh my gosh what the heck this is a mess all right so we have that one what are you connected to dude All right. Okay. So we're good there. We're good there. I'm trying to figure this out, y'all. I didn't get these ones on the bottom, is what it is. But whatever it's not the end of the world now what i need to do is click on this and the same thing here it says only two are connected that's wrong but i don't really know what to do about it but hopefully that at least helps a little bit now i need to go in and change meal quantity and variation to low 
So, policy, meal quantity, low. Variation, low. It doesn't say anything about, like, only doing one meal a day. Maybe we can try that and see if it also solves the problem. But, like, I don't really know why that would have an impact over this process. Uh, so let's just, for now, I'm just going to go like that and see if that works. We've got lots of free time, a bunch of work, yard. We're eating in the middle of the day, and that's it. Let's just zip through here and see if we get a phone call in a few hours. And he says, like, since you didn't do it, we're going to fine you. If he doesn't, we know that this will at least help us get through this. But it's going to be a nightmare doing this for this long. How are we doing here? Yeah, six inmates coming. That's good. But I'll bet you he's... Yeah, so, like, this would be scratched out if it was accepting. That's broken. I'm going to try and look into that and see what's up with that. Because it's, it's a mistake. So now what I need to do is load my autosave here. And see where we left off. Um, it already saved here. So we're going to have to redo this entire freaking episode. <sighs> so, here's what we're going to do. We just hit time anyway. But, we're going to have to replay this episode because I can't do this. It will bankrupt me. It costs you a fortune because he just keeps fining you like every six hours. And it's a lot of money. So, we're going to have to just start it over. And in the meantime, I'm going to look up this event and see if it's a bug that just never got fixed or if there's something that i'm missing that we need to do to be able to fix it if it's something that we can fix i can load the autosave and we just fix it and go if it's not we got to start over so we'll see next episode but that is going to do it for this episode if you haven't done so already please be sure to hit the like button hit the subscribe button Comment below, and we will see y'all next time.